All right. Thank you so much for for inviting me here to this uh, this event. I'm really happy to be here in Stockholm. Uh, I've been spending quite a little a few a little time here the last couple of uh, uh, weeks, uh, and uh, we're working on taking we work into the Nordics. Uh, that's our main focus uh, these days. Just a little short background on me. This is me, my previous picture, the not uh, not uh, allowed in WeWork, but uh, I used to work for a corporate law firm, and uh, and we we used to um, work with all these big landlords. And my, me and my friend, we we started this um, association for for young people in real estate in the, in Norway, especially and in in the Nordics that we did uh, for people under 35 working with corporate real estate. And that has grown into quite a big, uh, big um, organization. Now we're 1,800 members uh, in that organization. And the last couple of years, I've been building up the PropTech uh, hub in in Norway, like PropTech Norway. It's our together with uh, a good friend of mine who runs the biggest co-working spaces in in Norway. So we've been uh, I've been speaking at these PropTech events with Magnus at Recotech and and a lot of these things uh, the last couple of years. And then um, a few years uh, ago, I was introduced to WeWork and saw the whole PropTech platform and what they were all about. And I really tried to get them in as a client for my, my firm, but then I realized, okay, <laughs> a lot of these things that they're doing is so so far ahead and foresighted that I really want to be a part of that team. So that's where, where I am uh, working today. Um, and wearing suits, but I, yeah, I, I gradually turning into a two wee worker now. Next time you'll see me in a t-shirt and a hoodie. So, <laughs> um, but the point that Adam made as well, I think, is a really good point. That it's like this massive change coming, but the, it's coming anyway. Like you, you can't really resist this. Uh, for Fifty-one percent of the global workforce will be millennials in a couple of years. Seventy percent of people will live in the cities. And and uh, there's a lot of new type of companies uh, coming into to the real estate market, uh, so so it's a, it's a massive change in society, and it will also change a lot about uh, the real estate industry. And th th this has really spawned all the, these initiatives, like WeWork, uh, who is a, a huge company working in this, this segment, but also great initiatives like Equium, uh, who Adam runs uh, or works with, or or Mesh, uh, the one was uh, on the slide uh, earlier. My Run by my good friends in in Norway, uh, who focus on startups and and uh, and uh, the cre creative communities in uh, Norway and uh, Denmark, especially. So there's a lot of I think all these things are just uh, inevitable. They will uh, the market will change anyway, and I really think this statistic is really fascinating because. Uh, PwC made this big, uh, big survey, and they found out that 61% of the CEOs they were uh, unable to predict how many people they will be in their firm in three years. If you think about it, like why should you rent a huge room for 15 years if you don't know how many people you are in three years? And that's, uh, th I think that's uh, a problem that uh, a lot of the a challenge that a lot of the the co-working uh, and flex office providers will try to try to solve. Uh, so, in 15 minutes, to say a little bit about uh, WeWork, uh, I'm just going to give a short introduction about WeWork. Um, I, I assume that people have heard about WeWork. Who here has been in a WeWork before? Could you raise your hand? Yeah, it's quite a, quite a few people, so that's, that's good. And since this is a tech event, uh, and I'm a prop tech guy, I really want to uh, talk a little bit about the prop tech and the WeWork and how they work with that. And what everyone is asking me is that, what's your plans for, for, for Scandinavia? And that's uh, something I'm going to touch on uh, at the end. Um, so um, I'm a, didn't get to introduce myself with the title, but I'm a director for uh, the Nordics, the Baltics, and Netherlands. So we are doing the real estate part of it and taking it into the, the region. And uh, Nordics has been uh, a, a, an emerging market until the 1st of January this year. And now it's the established region and they uh, hired local people, me and my friend Salman. And then um, we have uh, Jens uh, here uh, in the back uh, and we have more of a local presence now and it's going to build a lot more local presence uh, from now on. So, um, but so, so what is, is WeWork? I think it's uh, of course our physical space. I think that we make great co-working and flex office um, offices, but it's still the, the, what differentiates us from a lot of other uh, providers in the segment is 
the services we provide on top of that and the community that they built. And really what I find most fascinating is like the data collection and the data that we, we use to get the insights on how people actually want to use, use uh, real estate. Uh, so imagine that this was where you worked in, this is our place in New York, or this uh, next one in, in Paris is in the financial district. So these are all great buildings and uh, cool uh, physical spaces um, that we, we run, but it's really more about this. This is the World Cup in, in Paris, and all these people work in different, actually these are all lawyers and, and uh, people in the financial sector, and all of these people came out after work to see all the World Cup games uh, together. I think that's uh, what we work can curate better than a lot of other type of companies that to, to make that real uh, real genuine uh, community and a lot of other products are making great communities as well but i think this is one of the edges that we work uh, really has it's a uh, it's uh, w at every center we have four people uh, working just as community managers they don't clean up they don't do anything else than to talk to people and to, to make them feel comfortable and know all the customers that are there, all the members, so so they could really focus on what they the, the members want and they will pick up immediately, like if there's something wrong, then, then we will know it uh, better than like a FM service. But it's also growing. This slide is pretty hard to make because this is from mid-January, but <laughs> now it's uh, outdated again. It's, uh, I think it was 200,000 members this summer. We opened 90 buildings in December this uh, year. So there's uh, now it's 400 buildings, and they're planning on getting a lot more. So it's, uh, it's an exponential growth. They had 300,000 uh, members in October and uh, they have 400,000 first of January and now there's 450 or something. So, so it's growing really exponentially, so, uh, the, the firm. And what you can see with these numbers is that, think about the services that we can provide to our members with these numbers. If you go to an insurance company or you go to the gym or anyone and say, okay, we're 500,000 people in this physical social network, give us a 50% discount and, and we will ma market it to all our members. All the members could, if you are a member of WeWork, you can market your product to the other 500,000 people there and say, okay, you can get, a, like I do a HR services, you can get 30% discount in the app. So, so, you, so you always have this, services that will will uh, make the experience better and this makes it kind of harder to leave as well if you if you have to renegotiate all your or your services uh, so so they so they they really provide a lot more than just uh, this the physical uh, space um so that's uh, one of the big things and it's a part of a global community so i travel a lot and if i go to new york or, or la or 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 any city, then uh, we could just tap into a WeWork and you're there and you're everything, you're logged into the to the net and everything is uh, running as it should. But uh, a fact that I was really surprised about myself when I joined WeWork is that 30% of our members are actually enterprise members and it's not 30% of the revenue, it's a lot more. So a huge part of the revenue for WeWork is, uh, is companies with over 1,000 employees. So. So they make they mix the startup feeling and and the, that community feeling with with a lot of huge uh, companies like uh, Microsoft or Facebook or, or Spotify or or uh, Mastercard, uh, GE. Uh, they have a lot of big financial institutions. There are a lot of uh, companies sitting in uh, in the different reworks, and that really sets us apart from from the other community. And it's. It's a double added value because we can match the startups with the big companies and the big companies can get access to, to like a big bank, you get access to the fintech company, for example. So, 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 so a lot of the revenue for WeWork is uh, generated with the huge companies. Uh, Amazon has 9,000 employees sitting at uh, WeWork, for example. And it's, uh, it's, the, it's the, the other uh, thing around it as well. Like we have the retail, we have the market, the uh, rice, the gym. We own the app Meetup, um, and they do the We Live now. Uh, I just came from the, that place in New York. So it's, it's a lot more than just a We Work. It's uh, you get pulled into uh, more of a big, big uh, ecosystem with a lot of services. But back to PropTech for the for the last part of it. Um, uh, it's. Uh, the question is, what can you do if you have the world's largest data set and the world's largest assets class? And 
that's really the idea behind WeWork because think about Facebook, you don't pay anything to use it. WeWork, they are obsessed with data, so everything is just data driven. And, and, uh, and uh, you get all this kind of uh, data collected on how people use buildings, how they perceive buildings, and you get huge insights on how people actually use real estate. And uh, they track everything uh, that they, uh, they, they can, can do to, to uh, make a better experience for the members. And all decisions are made based on all the data. And think about if you have a data set of how 500,000 people use uh, real estate, then, then you really would have the biggest data set. And if it's a million members next year, then, then, then it would just uh, grow exponentially. So, so, uh, so that's what they're thinking about. And they made this other kind of products to sell these services. Last year, they built 30 headquarters, I think, for, for big companies like UBS. Uh, they made the headquarters for Amazon. They have uh, done a lot of these things by a product called Powered by We, and that's just selling this info. So uh, all in and um, all in all, it's uh, it's uh, it's about uh, think about all these small things. Like in the work, you see that the, there's a kitchen when you get in. That's because people prefer to be in the kitchen and be social rather than sitting in a deep couch. And this is something that we research. Uh, like if you have staircases. Uh, going uh, go, going up, then 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 you have a one point five percent one point five the times the chance to become friends with anyone else. Like they have all this data on all these small things, and nothing is left to to chance. So I just want to say uh, that. Um, you should read the, uh, also the economic impact report. It's a huge report in London uh, telling them how we work lifted really the local economy of the whole of the, the, the city. And, uh, so, um, and, and it's really interesting to read. Um, so I think yeah, more people should be uh, focused on, on, uh, on this. If it's WeWork or if it's some great product like Equium, if you have an office uh, or, or is, uh, if you're a startup and you you could go to, to the mesh or, or communities, but you should be. I think we work benefit uh, uh, that people are actually curious about it. That all the big landlords are trying their own products now. That things are moving. I think that's a huge benefit for us. So, so I'll just say thank you.